Let's dive into Canva. I'm gonna go through all the tools and features in Canva as well as some cool tips and tricks so you can master Canva in a few minutes. Once you have a Canva account, you're gonna see this homepage. First, let's search for a template. With Canva, you can create presentations, posts, videos, and even websites. You can also start from scratch by searching what you want to create, then click start from scratch and Canva will open the editor in blank. I'm going to choose this template. And on the left bar on the top, we have the style, filter, themes, and more. There are some templates only available for the pro plan. I'm going to start with the text. If you click it, on the top bar, you're going to see all the text configurations. You can change the font, color, size, alignment, add a link, and more. And you can add effects. Click on effects, and on the left bar, you'll see all the effects and their configurations. Then, to change the background, you just have to click it, and on the top bar, you're going to see the option to change the background color. For the images, if you click them, you're going to see all the image tools on the top bar. You can animate them, change the alignment, the opacity, flip them, crop them, and more. If we click edit, we're going to see on the left bar all the filters, effects, and apps we can apply to our images. On the bottom, we have the grid view. Here, we can also name each page of our design and move them around easier. On the design tool tab, you can change the template and you can also add a page to the existing template that you're using and insert a different page from another template to match different templates as you wish. Let's go through the other features of the editor. First, we have elements. These are individual elements such as shapes, graphics, tables, photos, audios, stickers, frames, grids, and more. You can add them by clicking on them and then you can edit them as you wish. A good tool that you can find here is Frames. It could be a good alternative for the Remove Background tool that the Pro Prime has. For example, if you add a frame and then you add a photo, the photo is going to be cropped in the same shape as the frame. So for this photo, you're going to see that the background is not there anymore. You can also add rulers and guides to be more precise. To do that, go to File, then Settings, and then Add Rulers and Guides or just hit shift and the letter R to turn them on and off. These guides won't show up in your design when you export it, they are just a reference. Also, you can search for specific elements. The little numbers that appear as you're dragging the elements indicate the pixels, so you can make sure everything is even if you want. Now let's go to the text tab. Here are all the pre-made texts that you can use. To add a new text box, you just have to click here and add a heading, a subheading or a body, or you can just hit the letter T. You have all the text settings in the bar on the top. You can underline it, change the color, make it bold, change the font, add a link, and much more. And you can resize the text box by just dragging the edges to adjust it. Then we have uploads. This is where you can upload your files. You can go to uploads, click on upload files, and you can upload any file from your computer in Canva, images, videos, or audios. Another way is to drag and drop the files from your folder into the canvas, for example, this image, and it will be inserted and you will be able to find it quickly in the uploads here in case you want to use it again. Now let's talk about the images. Let's say you have two images or two elements. As you can see here, you can change the position and bring the images to the front or to the back. All you need to do is right click it, go to layers, and then bring forward. There is another option that says bring to front and this applies when you have multiple images overlapping and it will bring the image to the front dismissing the other layer. This applies with text as well. Then we have draw. Here you can draw and squiggle and doodle on the page as you wish. On app integrations you can connect any of these apps with Canva and save them to my apps. As you can see I have connected YouTube. So if I want to insert a YouTube video into my design, I can just go here, look for the YouTube video I want to insert or simply paste the link, click it and it will be inserted. And you can embed it into your menu. You also have other Canva apps that could be useful such as graphs, subtitles, translate and more. Then we have projects. Projects is useful to find previous designs you were working on. And finally, background. Here you have more advanced options for the background. You can choose your background and you can select a color, a template or an image from Canva. If you just want to change the color of the background, as I said before, you can also do it in the top bar. When you're happy with your design, you can download it by clicking on share on the top right corner and then download. Here you can choose the format and which page you want to download. Then click download again and you'll have your design in your computer. Let's talk about Canva Pro very quickly. With the Pro version, you will unlock more templates, elements, and tools. For example, for editing an image with Canva Pro, you will unlock the background remover as well as the magic remover that helps lead specific features from your images. Also, some effects, Canva's AI, 
brand kit where you can define your brand and save the specifics for your branding like fonts, colors, logos, photos, brand kits, and even brand voice. So this way you don't have to be constantly searching for the right font, size, colors, logos, etc. The pro plan can also be useful if you make a website with Canva and you want to connect your custom domain. As you can see here, Canva is a great tool whether you have the free or the pro plan. It helps create multiple designs super easy. If you want to know how Canva compares with other design tools, you can watch our Adobe Express tutorial for beginners right here. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye!